But guys, yo guys, welcome back to a brand new live stream. We're gonna be testing out some rogue Celestial Storm decks today, something like Dawn Fan. Um, I got this like Tyranitar um, Electrode GX deck that I'm gonna be playing around with. So there's a lot of different rogue decks that we're gonna be playing today. I know a lot of you guys want me to be streaming more, and uh, I thought, hey, what better time to stream than now? No one's even home, so hopefully, hopefully the connection's good, and hopefully we don't get like lag issues like last time. So we all should be good here. And uh, so, yeah, the first thing we'll be playing, we're gonna be trying out a Don Fan Hoopa deck. Once I get the deck kind of complete here, we're gonna try it out, and uh, we'll see how it does for us. And uh, we'll just have to see. We do have Mr. Mime, which we can put in. Um, but yeah, this should be a fun stream. Again, we're just gonna be trying out a few rogue archetypes um, for a bit, and we'll see how we do on today's uh, today's stream. It'll be fun because we're just you know playing around with you know rogue decks, right? So, um, we're building the Dawn Fan deck. We're going to need a couple of fun things, like Baby Buzz. Other than that, I think it's a decent decent deck. Um, Alright, so, we're going to need DCEs, for sure. Um, the nice thing is, we can play Unit Energy in this deck, which is kind of what kind of inspired me. It was like, oh wow, both Dawn Fan and Hoopa can use Unit Energy. So it, it, it makes sense. Uh, we can play two Strong Energies for Dawn Fan. Um... I want to say we need fighting. We're probably going to need like one fight energy. And then we can play probably a dark just for Hoopa. Eh, I don't like mixing up the energy. We can play Rainbow Brush though. So it's all good. Um, seems good to me. It, yeah, I think that's fine. Um, we're going to need Lele. I'll probably run a Ranguru in this deck too. Just. Play it more safe. Play with non non GX stackers. We just need more Don fans, which should be good. Should be good. Yo, keep doing streams. Thanks, Miguel, and welcome to stream, dude. How you doing tonight? How you doing, bro? Um, all right. So we're probably we're gonna need Bridget. We're gonna need three choice bands. Not delinquent. Um, three Cynthia seems fine. Uh, we'll play. Uh, we'll definitely be playing two field blowers. Um, I'll go with two floats for now, I guess. I mean, eh, yeah, I think two is fine. I'll play four Guzmas to back it up. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna build this Don Fan deck real quick, and then I gotta, and then I gotta get two more Don Fans. So I'm gonna put some trades on pause. But I'm gonna be trying out a Electro Tyranitar deck in just a minute, and that's gonna be a really fun deck to try out. So we'll be playing around with that in just a minute here once I get this deck kind of built. Um, we'll play Rainbow Brush. Actually, we'll play one Strong and two Fightings. And I'll play... Choose an Energy. Yeah, we'll play, uh, we'll play Rainbow Brush in this deck. Seems like a fun card to play. Um, we'll play Parallel. Okay, now we need to add ends and stuff, so... We'll go two ends. We'll go four. Actually, let's go... Th I think three Sycamore's three ends better. We're playing Special Charge, for sure. We're going to need this 100% to be able to get our Special Energy back, because we play a lot of them. Hey, greetings from Netherlands. Yo, welcome, Kelvin. How you doing, bro? Welcome, stream. Uh, we're just going to be I'm going to be playing around with some rogue decks. Um, not, like, super competitive decks, just straight-up rogues. Um, one of them is going to be a Don Fan Hoopa deck that I'm going to be testing out here. Um, yeah, I think, actually, we'll go three floats. It seems fine. Um, do I want to play Zerka Tree? I will want to say no, because we don't play, like, Rainbow Energy or anything. So Zerkatree kind of seems kind of pointless. I'm trying to think. Do you guys have any other ideas for what could be put in this deck? Um, the idea is you use Rapid Spin, and then you switch to Hoopa, and then obviously Hoopa takes a hit. But because Hoopa is, you know, a Dark type, you can actually play Unit Energy in this deck, which can go with both Donphane and Hoopa. It's just kind of what, what other things can I put in this deck? Um... Like, I could play, like, a Regirock so that we can do more damage. I don't hate that. Um, I guess we could play, like, eh, I guess I guess we're going to need Mewtwo for sure. Mewtwo's probably going to be needed. And we got room for, like, well, actually, then we got to probably play Rescue Stretcher. Actually, I don't really think this deck needs Stretcher. I think we're okay with what we got. Um, yeah, it seems fine. I just need one last thing to put in this deck. I don't know what it is. Maybe an enhanced hammer. All right, we'll roll with this. This seems like this seems like the decent deck. So uh, we just gotta get two more Don fans. So I'm gonna put a 
quick trade up on public offers real quick. And while that trade hopefully goes through in like a 10, 10 minutes or so, we're going, I'm going to try out my Electro GX Tyranitar deck. Um, there's this Japanese website I, um, I found, um, it has a lot of like Japanese deck lists that did really well. Um, I forget how I found it, but one of the interesting decks that I found on there was this Electro Tyranitar deck. It's not the exact same list because Japanese, you know, the Japan have a different format than us. But this Tyranitar Electro deck looked really cool. Kelvin Club doing good here. Uh, just here to watch your stream. I'm in more of the collecting side, but still like these type of videos. See how decks play and fun decks are my favorite. All right, yo. Yeah, we're just going to chill out. Again, it's just we're playing fun rogues. And this is going to be one of the fun rogues. Tyranitar with Electro GX. Um, this is this is an interesting deck that I got off of a Japan website, and we're gonna try it out here today. And I am very curious to see how this deck does for us. So we're gonna play around this deck while we wait for the. Uh, well, we gotta put up trades first for the um, the Dawn fan. So I don't have any reverse. Do I have any reverse hall Pupitars? I do. I guess this is the one we want to play. I don't know. I want to bling out my deck as much as I can. Oh, I do have Versal Pupitar. All right. So yeah, this is the list that I've got. My Tyranitar Electro deck. The idea is you blow up Electrode, you build up Tyranitar, and Tyranitar has this insane attack called Trample, which is 120 for four energies. Which the best way to build that up is with Electro GX. Flip a coin for each bench Pokemon. Um, it does 60 damage to that Pokemon. That's insane. And now it counts for your bench too, unfortunately. So we are going to be playing Mr. Mime to block that. And we have a lot of other cool cards in this deck, like Yveltal Break, which combos really nicely with Tyranitar's attack. We got Spirit Tomb. So it's a very cool archetype, and uh, we are going to be playing around with it here on PCGO. Well, we wait for some Dawn Fan trades to go through, and then we'll play around with Dawn Fan. And if there's any other rogue decks, we can definitely try them out. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a more of a rogue-friendly stream, which I'm you know happy for. You know, I just uploaded a Shiftry um, Copycat Artillery deck right today, so I'm going to play it a little more, you know, fun today and just play, you know, more different archetypes that aren't, you know, too competitive. But they're fun to play, is kind of the point. So, yeah. So we got to put up some trades here for your Dawn Fan. Let's going to get two more of the wrap the new Dawn Fan here. If we can find them, there they are. So yeah, we got to get two Dawn Fans. Um... They're pretty easy to get, but I'm actually going to put up, uh, I'll put up a pack and a chest, hopefully that goes through. It's like, Dawn Fan's not that great of a card, so that should be able to hopefully go through. Um, but we're going to try out that Tyranitar deck. I didn't, rip, I didn't save it, that, or I didn't favorite it, probably should have, that's fine. So where is Tyranitar? Tyranitar, Tyranitar. Electro Tyranitar, it's in the E, right, I forgot I spelled Tyranitar wrong. Yeah, there it is. Electro Tyranitar. All right. Uh, while we do it, I'm actually going to record a game with the decks. Maybe I can put it in a video when I do make a video on this deck. That seems good. All right. So we'll see what we can play against here with our deck. So the idea is obviously you do Tyranitar's Trample Attack with Electrode's Extra Energy Bomb. It looks like we're up against a Volcanian deck, which is fine. I think Volk might be an okay matchup for this deck. We'll have to see, though. One thing that I am sad about is that we didn't get that other Blaziken in this set. Like, I really wanted that. Like, I really like Blaziken Blaziken using Blaziken GX with um, the baby Blaziken. Unfortunately, that will not be able to happen until, like, November. It's really annoying that they uh, postponed that. Yo, I just beat you not too long ago with my Zork Macargo deck. Don't feel bad. I'm 15 with it. Wow. Oh, yeah. Actually, I'll say this. I'll say this, Trevor. I was recording, that's all I'm going to say. You might be in tomorrow's video, you might not be. Um, Alright, so... He starts with a baby Volk, which is really annoying. Um, I kind of have to dump the hand, don't I? That really sucks. That's two of my Guzmas down. And, oh wow, okay. Um, we didn't get much there. I'll have to grab Lele for next turn. This is really bad. We're probably going to lose Larvitar here. Probably should have saved Ultra Ball, though, to be fair. But yeah, Trevor, um, it, was a, it was a good game. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I wasn't drawing too well in that match. But um, yeah, that game is going to probably be in tomorrow's video, which may or not may or may not be a Stack Attack and again at all deck. So yeah, that Zorak Macargo game might be in the video. He's actually going to end me. Okay, I mean, to be fair, we did get energy in the discard, which is kind of important regardless. We'll just have to see if we get KO'd. Ooh, we actually got a pretty good, pretty good hand off that. 
Just gotta hope Larvitar can take a hit here for me. So we're gonna need you, Larvitar. You're very important here. Okay, I think we're good. I think Larvitar should live. If Larvitar can survive the turn, we're good. But yo, welcome everybody to the stream if you are just tuning in. I'm playing around with some rogue decks today. One of them is Electrode GX with Tyranitar. In before, those are two fire energies. Oh my gosh, don't be two fire energies. What? Yo, what kind of... Okay, that is... Okay, at least he has one card in his hand. That is some BS, though. You look like you were struggling with the draws. Yeah, um, that's the thing with Nagandel stack attack. Uh, you don't have room for draw support. Um, I just wasn't drawing well, but uh, it was still a good match regardless. Um, it was still a decent match. Okay, we'll have to retreat in the Spirit Tomb. I don't know how he managed to get that, but that's very annoying. Um, let's actually put some Nightmare on him, and we'll Sycamore. We want to discard our energies here for Electro GX. Nice, we got the Rare Candy Tyranitar. Nice, so we should be good for next turn. So I'm feeling pretty confident about this position I'm in. I'm actually going to play Voltorb down. And uh, we'll Nightmare my opponent, maybe try and buy a turn or two. Nope, never mind, rip. Hopefully that one per that one card he took was not a good card, because he had an empty hand after he did the double steam up there. So I'll have to see if his hand's empty, but uh, we're going to be able to blow up our guy here. Alright, looks like we'll get KO'd. That's fine. We'll KO him with Tyranitar and go from there. I'm excited to see how this deck plays for us. At least we got Tyranitar on time, too. That's good. And we got... Got a lot of energy in the discard, so we're going to be able to accumulate a lot of energy here with an Electrode. We're actually going to give up quite a few prizes to pull this off. What? Okay, this is actually annoying. Um, hopefully, we just draw Electrode. I'd rather not end him. His hand's going to be completely empty. But Tyranitar's 170 HP might make us survive a turn from Volk. Hopefully, that's the case. Unfortunately, he woke up, though. Um, okay, I'm going to bring out Voltorb. I'm going to play the Floatstone on it. Oh, wow. We actually drew into Electrode. That is incredible. All right. So he'll go down to two prizes, unfortunately, but we're going to be able to set up pretty well here. Um, It's just where do I want to put the energy? Okay. I think we'll blow up Electrode. Boom. Uh, we'll go. Okay. We'll double dark. We'll do this and... Might as well go counter energy on to Tyranitar. So yeah, we'll do this. Right? Three energies. So we want to go two energies on Tyranitar, one on Yveltal Break, or Yveltal. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. So we go two here. Go two here. And, okay, um, yeah, I guess we'll go here. So we got the counter energy, we'll attach a Tyranitar. Now, I am a little scared. If Trample hits heads on Voltorb, we'll lose our Voltorb, and my opponent could literally win the game next turn. So, that's what I'm worried about. But, um, we're gonna be able to end him. If we can find Mr. Mime, this would be pretty clutch. Rip. Okay, we do find another Electro GX, which saves us. Alright, trample time. Let's get double heads on these vaults and double tails on my bench. What? No, it had to be double heads on me. Oh, that's bad. Uh, as you can see, it does hurt you quite a bit when you get hit. Uh, we do get a float, which is good. We can knock out Volk next turn, thanks to the 60 damage we did do it, though. That sucks, but uh, it's fine. The end of two hopefully saves us from getting KO'd here. A resty stretcher for, I guess, maybe Volk. Yep. All right, nice. We end him into a Cynthia. Love it when that happens. I swear, my ends, man, my ends are so garbage. And if we get KO'd here, I swear. Okay, he's going to Ultra Ball. Do we have any ends left? Oh, we might. I might be able to end him again. And before I just blow up my Electrode and lose the game, Kaplan, I'm just kidding, that'd be dumb. We really need to get our um, Mr. Mime, though. Okay, this is, it's a little annoying that he was able to uh, get that Cynthia there. Nice, we drew Yveltal Break. So this is where things get interesting. So we really, really need to get Mr. Mime here, guys. Okay, we got him. We'll get rid of... Hmm. 
I guess we'll get rid of the DCB. I want to keep Hoopa. Hoopa's pretty nice. So we'll grab Mr. Mime. So now our bench is safe, which is good for now. Now, I'm actually also hoping that we can knock out that, um, that Remoraid here. He's got one card in his hand. He got rid of a Sycamore. That's clearly going to be like a Cynthia or something. So maybe I just go into Yveltal Break, which I think I hold it. Um, so we'll do Trample. We'll see if we're able to get a bunch of heads on him. We did knock out the Remoraid, which sucks. We would have hit our entire bench there. That's insane. That's insane. We almost would have lost the game on our bench. Yep, Sycamore, of course. Attaching a Pardon me, attaching a Volk tells me he's going to try and knock me out with Volk here. So maybe he just whiffs the steam up. That'd be awesome. That'd be great. If Tyrantar lives, this is good. Um, but Yveltal Break hopefully can do something for now. We can Guzma up maybe this Volk. Um, maybe nice to end him again. No, rip. Tyrantar, no! Dang it. We got a decent match with the deck, though. I can't complain. We were able to do some fun things. Dang, that is very annoying, though. Alright. He probably has game. I wouldn't be surprised if he has Guzma in his hand. Just gotta hope he doesn't. Uh, what else can I do? Okay, we got Dark Energy. We got it for Hoopa. I can do Super Side Bolt, but because this guy's in play, it's kind of pointless. I could knock him out with Hoopa. I think... Yeah, I think we do knock him out with Hoopa here. See where it goes. I don't know how this will work for us, but... If he has Guzma, we lose. I just gotta pray he doesn't. He hasn't played one yet. But um, we should be able to maybe clutch with Hoopa, hopefully. Yveltal Bray can do a lot of big things this turn. Just gotta pray he doesn't get Guzma, and we should be okay to win the game. Or not win, but at least make a comeback. This deck looks fun at Cup. Electrode being very important. Yeah, it's... He had Guzma rip. Dang it, dude. He had to get that Cynthia offended, too. I hate when that happens. My ends are complete garbage, dude. So annoying. That was going to be such a good match. Oh, it looks like we did get the Dawn fan, though. Never mind, we didn't. Rip. We didn't. Um, all good. Got the two Stekas. Alright, so we'll find another game with our deck here. Um, probably should just quickly stop recording. So that was a decent match we got with our deck. Unfortunately, we ended up losing. That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. But uh, we'll do another game with the deck. Again, it's not a crazy competitive deck. You, I, you don't expect to like win every game, obviously, but you get some fun matches out of it. So that's that's the fun part. You get some fun games with it, and we got a nice match with the Tyrantar deck. Tyran, G, we'll call it Tyran. I don't know, finale. So when I do a Tyrantar video, I have a game now with it. So that's good. So we'll go tails for the coin flip. Nope. This could be a Greninja deck, which is probably our worst matchup, to be honest. Greninja's gonna be a pain. He's actually, yeah, it's Greninja. He's got the Froakie coin, because of course. Alright, we'll have to see if we're able to do anything with my boy Tyranitar this turn. My boy Titar. Alright, let's see. We're gonna mulligan. I do need to get full art uh, so, so fall keys. Okay, we started with Lele, that's fine though. We do have another, um, we have an Ultra Ball, we do have Soft Follow Keys in our hand, we're okay for now. Greninja though is not going to be a matchup that I am looking forward to, because I don't think Mr. Mime stops. Um, yeah, Mr. Mime doesn't stop, uh, what's his face? He doesn't stop a uh, giant water shuriken, and he's playing Espeon, alright, this, this makes me just want to immediately concede, because I am not a fan of playing against him. Uh, we'll get rid of two Dark Energies here. Sadly, we can't do much else with this hand. We can't do a Bridget, which is a bummer. We'll grab Larvitar. Might as well end him. His hand is pretty big. Start with Lele. Yeah, it always sucks when we start with Lele. Especially when you only play one Lele in your deck. It's lovely when that happens. Um, okay, mm, Hoopa will be good discard bait. This is going to be a very annoying game, though, because of that Espeon. Plus it's Greninja, and Greninja's always fun to play against, so we'll have to see how this goes. Won't be the end of the world. Oh, I could have Brooklyn Hilled. I, wow. Didn't realize it was in play. Search Hoopa to stall. Nah, 
Hoopa can't really stall much against Greninja. I mean, that Volt game, it could have done well. You know, sadly, it just wasn't meant to be. We'll have to see how this goes, though. He's going to attach Espeon, probably to retreat. Nope, okay. I should have played Brooklyn Hill, though. That was my bad. I didn't even... Ooh, the Rare Candy top deck. But he's going to de-evolve me. This is dumb. I might just honestly concede, because I really don't want it. I don't want to be bothered to play against Greninja. I really don't. Uh, we'll get rid of Electrode and Hoopa. Get four cards. Yikes. Uh, we're going to have to shuffle Electrode back. Is there any way I can... I can't stop this thing from de-evolving my T-Tar. <sighs> I'm just going to concede. I don't, I don't even care. I yeah, My motivation to play against Greninja with this deck right now is at an all-time low. It might be Greninja GX, then it would be good. Yeah. I don't think we could beat Greninja, because he can... Uh, thanks to Greninja's attack, he could heal all the damage we do with Trample. There's no point. How about Energy Grace? Yeah, my low tick Tyrantar would be good and expanded, I'd say. And nice, we got our Dawn Fan. So we can play the Dawn Fan deck here real quick. We can play Dawn Fan, if I can find it. Yep, there it is. So yeah, we can play this Dawn Fan deck that I built. Dawn Fan Hoopa with Yun Energy seems like a very cool deck idea. So we're going to go try it out here um, and see how the deck does for us. And uh, while we do it, we'll record a match. So when I do a Dawn Fan video, I'll have a game. But uh, yo, shout out to everyone who has tuned into the stream. I'm just playing around with Rogue decks, as you just saw. I was playing a Tyranitar Electro GX deck that I got off of a Japanese website. It was kind of cool. Um, so here we go. We'll play the Dawn Fan Hoopa deck. We'll see what we can do. Play against Zoark, maybe. Get a nice win. Dawn Fan, I mean, okay, so you do 50 base. With Diancie, you would do 70 with a Choice Band. So yeah, Dawn Fan actually can't one shot um, Zoark without a uh, Diancie Reggie Rock Choice Band. Sup, Dark Fury? Yo, Smoke Gunner, welcome to the stream, dude. How you doing, bro? How you doing today? Uh, are we going to more Greninja? Ugh. If, if this is another Greninja deck, this is going to be another Concede, because I don't want to play against Greninja. I really don't. Greninja is uh, it's not, a toler it's not tolerable. Maybe he's playing Swampert, though. He never knows. I've seen some Swampert lists um, go around. Um, I saw Omnipoke's list, which looks really interesting, so I would do want to try out Swampert soon. I actually traded two packs... For a full playset of 444 of Reverse Hollow Swampert with, um, um, yeah, Reverse Hollow Swampert, Reverse Hollow Mudkips, and Reverse Hollow Marsh Tom. It was a good trade in my eyes. Okay, so it looks like it's a Water Box deck, which I am fine with. I think Water Box is a good matchup for us. Beautiful, it is. Uh, we do have to watch out for Baby Volk, um, or Prism Star Volk, sorry. But other than that, Hoopa could be really useful in this matchup. So I think I'll Ultra Ball for Hoopa, or actually we'll Lele Bridge it. I don't know. Yeah, I guess we'll Ultra Ball for Hoopa. This seems fine. Um, we'll get rid of Lele, I guess. Like, I had the Bridget, I guess, right? Yeah, but no point. I mean, I could have just filled my bench with Hoopa, but it's fine. We'll, we'll just Ultra Ball for the Hoopa and then dump the hand. We'll see how this does. We'll see what we get off this Sycamore. Another Hoopa is always appreciated. We have another Fampy. Not going to need it, though. Hopefully, we can top deck our DCE, so we're able to DCE Super Side Bolt that Lapras. That'll be good. Hi, from Italy. Uh, what actually does Don Fan do? Yo, David, welcome to stream, dude. And I am actually Italian myself. A lot of my family is from Italy. I've been to Italy before. It's a really nice place. Um, but Don Fan has the attack Rapid Spin for a Fight Energy and a DCE. It does 50 damage. Then you switch Don Fan with your bench, and then your opponent also switches their Pokemon, too. It's a very cool card. Um, and we're going to be trying it out with Hoopa today because it combos nicely. And you get to use Unit Energy with it. Speak of the devil. We're going to be able to Guzma up this Lapras with our Hoopa here. And we're going to be able to Super Side Bolt this Lapras for 110 damage. And get some early damage on it. But it seems like a really interesting archetype. Because both Donphan and Hoopa synergize well because you switch into Hoopa. But because we have Unit Energy, which works for fighting and dark Pokemon, it's a really nice combo. Thank you for the end. Alright, nice. That's going to help. But I actually really like this Don Fan Hoopa deck. Like, I thought of the idea, I'm like, oh my gosh, this actually sounds like a really cool deck idea. Alright, there's that Volk, so this is going to be the big obstacle to get through. And I, get, I mean, he could attack with Octillery too, I guess. That'd be kind of funny. But other than that, we should be okay here. If I can um, get one of my other Guzmas, I do play four Guzmas in this deck. If I can draw another Guzma, um, I'm going to try and get early damage on this Don, uh, this Volk. Because we deal with Volk, I mean, the only other thing in our way would be Octillery, but that's not doing much. So we should be okay here, as long as we can take out this Volk very soon. Not really that scared. Guzma. Got Rainbow Brush. Uh, don't really need it. 
Might as well just load our bench up with Hoopa. Um, he actually retreated an Octillery, which is fine. Uh, we'll Sycamore dump the hand, see if we can find any more energy for the other Hoopa. Nice, we do. And I guess we'll hit him for 80. We take out Octillery, I don't mind that either. I mean, we don't play Buzzwell GX in this deck. The only GX we are playing is Lele. And, well, and Mr. Mime. We're playing around with Mr. Mime to see how funny it is. He's actually going into the Vulk. Huh. Okay, I guess he's going to energy switch. That's fine. I'm not too worried right now. He not Even if he did, like... He's not knocking me out. Like, unless he's playing... He, nothing I can think of that damage boosts him. So he should be okay to live the turn here. He's going to dump the hand. All right. I mean, as long as we... Play grass with Hoopa, we're good. I'm actually going to probably put the fight energy on Hoopa just so I can... I don't have to rely on getting a DCE to knock out this Vulk. Is Donphane weak to water? It's not. So that's actually really big. So he's going to hit me here, but that is fine. We'll see what we draw. Ooh, parallel. I'm actually going to parallel myself so he does less damage. If I parallel him, he'll obviously just get rid of the uh, Lapras, which we want to have on his bench. Uh, we'll attach to Hoopa. We'll... Probably just burn another float stone. We'll do Cynthia. I could have also knocked out Lapras, but we gotta get by this Volk. We did draw an Ultra Ball. We'll get rid of Fampy and Bridget. Probably just get Buzzwool, I guess. I don't know. He might dump he might bump the stadium. And we'll just super sidebolt him for 80. And we'll be able to two-shot this Volk unless he's playing Lana. Which is probably not. So we should be okay. Are you going to Worlds? Unfortunately, Sheer, I am not. I don't actually play in real life anymore. Um, I'm going to be watching Worlds for sure. I'm looking forward to Worlds. Hopefully, a fun deck wins Worlds, like, you know, when uh, Adino and uh, Archie's Toys did. But no, I'm not, unfortunately. Um, I do want to get back into the game in real life at some point, though, in the future, because it is fun to play. But I just don't play in real life anymore. It's too expensive for me. But um, I do want to get back into it. But uh, yeah, I ain't going to Worlds. But I am looking forward to it. And we're playing in the Worlds format for now. Okay, so he does bump the stadium, that's fine. He shouldn't have any other water attackers. So, I mean, other than Octillery, but I mean, Octillery, he won't want to attack me with that. He's only doing 40. So he should be okay. And it's all effects of attacks, right? Yeah, so he can't even paralyze me and do some strat there. He should be okay to kind of just outlive him here. He's actually going to make me switch. I mean, you know what? We'll just go into this Hoopa with Float. And before he field blurs it off, but yeah, it's fine. We do play three floats and four Guzmas. We don't have a Guzma in our hand, though. I'm assuming he wants to um, get this Volk out of the active, because it will get KO'd by Hoopa. Oh, I guess he could... Yeah, I guess he want. Okay, I see. He wanted to Sauna Blast me. Okay, so... Oh, I see. He, can, he does take two prizes off of that. Eh. We don't play Stretcher, but we do play four Hoopas, so it's fine. Okay, I didn't realize that. It's fine though. Should be okay though. Again, I think Hoopa can. I think Hoopa can be enough to win the game. Plus, we have Don Fan, so Don Fan should be good enough. He's only played one Aqua Patch though. We'll see. He's gonna do a Sycamore. He's gonna get rid of it. it. Looks like a Super Rod. Okay. Take him taking two prizes kind of sucks. He would have taken two prizes regardless of anything. And obviously I want to, I guess I want to lose the Hoopa with no energy on it. So it's perfectly fine. So yeah, rip Hoopas, that's fine though. Uh, he does take two prizes, wish I had none, but we are going to be able to take out his threat here, which is his Volk. And other than that, all he can attack with is Octillery. An N top deck would be incredible. Actually, it could kill him with Baby Buzz. I don't think that seems like a good idea though. I think I just discard the entire hand. I don't really care about Dionysi Prism Star. Okay, yeah, I am glad I attached that fine energy to Hoopa. That came in handy. Um, yeah, we'll just super sidebolt knock out this Don, uh, this Falk. And we'll see what we draw. There's a dark energy. So if we can get our fourth Hoopa out of the deck, we're going to be able to play it down. We'll see my opponent. A ends up attacking me again. I don't know if there's any other water attackers. I doubt he's playing like Keldeo from Shiny Legends. Looks like he just wants to hug me, but for 40 damage, and that's not doing much. We just need to get another Hoopa down, and we should be good. Him taking two prizes, though, was really annoying. I couldn't do anything about it, though. I probably should have seen it coming and sacrificed Don Fan. That's my bad. Well, it's fine. 
Oh, I see. He's gonna try and build up multiple artilleries. I mean, it's 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 a way to knock me out. I guess it's a way to deal with me. A very weird way, but um, you know, maybe he doesn't even attack me this turn. He's played what three energy, six, seven. Um, he's played ten of his waters. I'm assuming he's only playing eleven to twelve water energies. No, it looks like he's gonna knock out a Rangaroo with Lapras. That's fine. If I can top that Guzma, I will take out that artillery. And this is why I don't, like, when you're playing Hoopa, you don't want to play too much Pokemon on your bench, so I gotta be careful with what I bench here. But we do need to get our other Hoopa out of the deck at some point. I, we'll play Brookwood Hill. Oh, it's prized. Okay, our Hoopa is prized. That sucks. I'm actually gonna play Mewtwo down. It can actually do something in this matchup. We'll end him to three. Play it while we still can. We're probably gonna just take our two prizes here. Um, we'll retreat, right? Actually, I might as well attach the Dark to Mewtwo. And we'll just knock him out with Scoundrel Guard, or Super Side Bolt. Now, hopefully we can get Hoopa off the prizes. Special Charge and a Unit Energy. Alright, we did get Special Charge, which can get us back those DCE and stuff like that, which is good. Hoopa will survive the turn here. Octillery won't knock me out. It's Hug Attack. We'll only do 40. He might not even have the energy. Who knows? He's played a lot of his energy so far. Okay, there's a second Octillery. How many Aqua Patch has he played? Still only one? How? Wow, if I if I lose to these Octilleries, I don't know what to say. I'm tempted to retreat next turn into Mewtwo and knock him out that way. Never mind, he's gonna end me. Let's see what we get. Ah, eh, we got Unity still, I guess that works. It looks like he's gonna hug me. Abyssal Hand. We'll see if he hits any more of his Aqua Patches. We could be in trouble here, guys. I'm not going to lie. These Octillaries might give me a beating. How many Guzmas has he actually played? Only two. Okay, yeah, he's really digging hard here. He wants to dump his hand. He's like out of Sycamores now. So he's low on cards, but he still has two Octillaries. I can't really deal with them. He still has another Abyssal Hand. I didn't even realize. Rip me. Yeah, I feel so dumb now for not just sacrificing Donphan. We just need to get our Hoopa, but I am tempted to retreat here. And maybe just knock him out Mewtwo. Because we still have our DCEs, right? It's not going to have enough ways to finish off all my Pokemon. I don't mind the idea of just retreating here. Oh, I can't. That's right. Okay. That's annoying. I can't actually retreat. All right. That's, that's I just realized. I forgot. You, you never you never see this thing attack. So, yeah. He did energy switch off of Octillery, though, for some reason. So, but the fact that he barely playing Aqua Patches is a little worrying. How many, like, he's played, like, what? I swear, he's played like five energy switches this match, too. But only two. Hmm. We'll just knock him out, and we'll have to see how this does for us. We really need to get, a, like, a supporter off this, though. Nope, there's our last Hoopa, which uh, kind of doesn't work right now. Maybe we could stall him out with Hoopa, though. We'll see. Let's bring out Manaphy. So he's definitely going to go for a... Guzma play, it looks like. But he's low on cards, so we can maybe bench this other Hoopa. And that sh might be his last Guzma. If he is playing Guzma here, you never know. Field Blower does kind of suck. That Choice Band was needed to two-shot those Laprasses. We still have one left, though. He's got two cards left, so... The stall strategy could work. How many ends is Stiphius? Probably got one Cynthia left. He might have another end left, you never know. We'll see if he knocks me out with Octillery. No, it looks like he's still building up Lapras. There's a Guzma. He's going to knock out Mewtwo, most likely. Yep, that's fine. That is fine. Meh, maybe I shouldn't attach that Unergy. But if he ended me to two, I didn't want to draw it. That was kind of my mindset there. Okay, let's see what I draw. DC's pretty nice. Attach that to Hoopa. 
Might as well play down Don Fan. And Super Cybolt him. He might play four Guzmas, but there's no way he can win the game with just two Guzmas. He's got one card left in his deck. Him decking out is also really likely at this point, too. So, I mean, we should be good. As long as he's not playing four Guzmas, we should be able to win the game. But I don't think he is. Most Lapras decks only play three, I think. But he's out of cards now. Unless he ends himself to two, which would benefit me. I don't even know if he has enough Aqua Patch left. He's only... That's his third one. Yep. And that's game. We beat him. We beat him. We didn't even use Don Fan, but that was such a funny match. That was a funny game regardless. But yeah, yeah, GG to my opponent. We'll give him the well played. I mean, he tried. Uh, the fact that he was able to do something with artillery is kind of sad and scary for me. But um, we were able to still win the match. It was pretty, pretty intense. I mean, I think if he did attack me with that artillery, the fact that my other hoop was prized, maybe he didn't know that, but the fact that it was prized, he could have done something that way to stop the hoopas, because I probably would have lost if he did somehow take out that hoop, that hoopa earlier on. But other than that, that was a good match regardless. And yeah, that was a good game. So I'm liking this Dawn fan deck so far. I really am. It's a fun deck. It worked well for me there. Uh, we'll call it Don Fan Screen Game. Put that on my desktop. Okay, that was a nice game. Uh, we'll do another match with it, because why not? I should probably read this. Good, can you trade previous kits my buddy's trying to trade me for? Uh, nah, I haven't gotten a uh, pre-release kit yet. Maybe I did. I don't know. I don't know if that deck box is something to do with pre -release. I don't know. Nice game to watch. Yeah, that was a really good game. I think, again, if he did attack me with Octillery there, like, I had 40 HP remaining. So, that was a good match regardless. That was a good game. Hopefully we can show off Dawn Fan a little more, though. That's kind of the goal here. I mean, Hoopa's obviously one of the best attackers in the deck, but Dawn Fan is pretty lit, so we can see if we use Dawn Fan here. And then I might go back to the Tyranitar deck. I might, might try out the uh, Metagross Steven deck also. We'll see. There's a lot I can do. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the stream. If you guys are enjoying the stream, by the way, uh, just slap a like on it and stuff like that. That'd be a lot, you know, help me out quite a bit. Alright, so we are going to Mulligan. Big hand of energy. So we got Dawn Fan, Hoopa, Fan P. Nice. So we can start with Fan, or Hoopa, sorry, Bench the Fan P. That's all good. And uh, we'll see what we can do here. Um, I don't even know what I'm playing against. I'm assuming it's Zoar. I mean, Zoar is a pretty easy win for this deck, because Dawnfan counters Zoar with its damage output. Hoopa can't be damaged by Zoar. Zoar doesn't play that many ways to deal with Hoopa either. So, we might be okay. But if it's Control Zoar, it's a different story. No, he's playing Dustmane. Okay, this might be Beast Box, and we drew another Guzma rip. I'm just going to attach and pass. I'm going to hold the hand in case we get end or we top deck an end. I really don't want to lose those two Guzmas, so I think it's safe to just hold the hand for now and uh, see where we go from there. Place Cartana, okay, rip. This is definitely a Beast Box deck. But Beast Box might not have a way to stop Hoopa other than just Poipo poisoning me. I'm not, He might be playing Baby Dusk or maybe the Celesteela. We'll see. We'll see if he has any way to counter Hoopa. Well, even if he does use Baby Dust, like, he needs three energies. He doesn't even one-shot me. And, uh, Celesteela needs, like, five energies, and if the prize aren't... The prize aren't even enough for its attack, then it's not gonna make a difference. He is gonna get a stack attacker here. Alright. He's gonna be able to, uh, be a little more bulkier. That's fine, though. I mean, it's still not something that can damage any of my Hoopas. So it is all good. Like, he does have access to Blade and stuff, I guess, to attack me, so he does have attacking options. Someone is calling me. I'd love to answer right now, but I can't. I'm just messaging. So he's going to Ultra Ball, see what other Pokemon he grabs here. Again, I'm assuming my opponent wants to deal with my Hoopa. He probably sees it like, oh gosh. Ooh, Yoon Energy. Huh. So, maybe it's not a Beast Box. No, it is a Beast Box deck. Never mind. Hmm. So, I 
guess he, um, yeah, okay, so it is a beast box deck. The energy does worry some questions, though. Um, okay, so we'll attach, I mean, I could attach to Hoopa. I do play one Rainbow Brush, so I can attach the fight into Hoopa, and then Rainbow Brush turn to a, a Dark Energy. But we'll attach to Dawn Fan. Hoopa's chillin'. We don't need Mr. Mime. We do have to lose two of our Guzmas, which is really painful here. Got another Hoopa. And we'll just pass. The next turn, we can Rapid Spin him, which is nice. Only for 40, but that's fine. That's fine. We're in an okay spot right now. Not too bad. I don't know. I'm trying out Mr. Mime this deck. If you guys, like, no, Mr. Mime isn't that great of a card. Um, but it could be good. You never know. Magic Evens could come in handy, but because there's Choice Band, you never know. But, again, it's something that I'm testing out in this deck to see if it's any good. And so far, it's like not working so we can probably take out mr mine but again it's always fun to just play around with the new cards regardless so yeah so we do a strong energy that's not bad we'll attach here i know i should be playing too many pokemon on my bench that's fine though we'll retreat into dawn fan we're not doing a lot of damage but it's something it's something now let's go back i'll hold the hand uh, might as well savor the energy while we still can. We're not in any rush right now anyways. My opponent hasn't been putting too much pressure on, so we should be okay. Should be okay. Mr. Mime is so bad. Pulled one today, disappointed. Yeah, it was the first GX that I ended up pulling in my pack opening video. It was, I was like, oh. And I got two of them too, just to put uh, salt to the wound. Yeah, Mr. Mime is just not a good card. It's sad, but it's the way it is. Um, might as well... Again, I can kind of just keep chilling for now. I'm not really in any rush. We can just keep rapid spinning him. Yeah, I hate... I don't like Mr. Mime. I'm just going to try it out. I'm going to try out as many new cards as I can while they're still new and fresh. You never know. Mr. Mime could be like the secret tech that wins worlds. No, I'm just joking. But you never know. You never know. Wait, did I make it on stream? Didn't realize that LDF was streaming. Yes, you did, Zuzo. I was actually talking to you on stream. So, yeah, you were on stream. But yeah, um, I, I don't know if I did get a pre-release kit. I don't know if the uh, Rayquaza, these things are from pre-release kits. I don't think they are. Um, but if they are, I mean they're. But yeah, I don't know. Pre-release kits are the ones where you get like the promo cards with like the, the name of the set in like the corner of the art, right? Alright, so he's going to end me, which is fine. Again, he can't poison me, but I can just retreat into Dawn Fan. Maybe... Try and knock him out. I don't think I can, though. We did get a Guzma. So, yeah, I can probably Guzma up the, uh... Maybe the, uh... The Dustmane, I guess? Dustmane seems like a bigger threat. My opponent will get Naganadel, so I guess we'll just bring out Naganadel then and smack it with Donphan. I don't know. Maybe I save the Guzmas? I don't know. Because Guzma is pretty important here. It is pretty important. We'll attach a DC to our Hoopa, though. We are going to try and attack with Hoopa in this match. We're only doing 40, so it seems like a waste of a Guzma, to be honest. We've already burned two of them. But either way, it looks like I'm going to lose my Guzma here. I mean... I, yeah, I think we'll save the hand once again. We're not in any rush. We're not in any rush. I think I'm okay. For now. We're not in any rush. The Pokey Army. I opened a pre-release kit on my channel day, and all I got was a Hollow. Huh. I don't know. Are you playing a Stack Attack deck? Are you playing the Stack Attack deck? Yeah. Um. Tomorrow's video will be a Naganadel Stack Attack deck. Mister Mime with Lysander Labs broken for one turn. Oh yeah, that's true. I forgot. Yeah, Lysander Labs can shut down uh, Choice Band. I didn't even think about that. Yo, welcome to the stream, dude. My boy ADVGYM. It's my boy here. Show him some love, guys. Alright, so we'll have to see uh, what my opponent does. Again, he can poison me if he wants. He can do that to damage Hoopa. Other than that, not got much else. Wouldn't mind getting a field blower, get rid of these two float stones, so then when he does retreat, he doesn't have much to go into that can retreat. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Scrabbing Zerka Tree. Oh, that's actually pretty big. I mean, okay, we do have maybe Buzzwell, I guess. 
So now I really need to save my Guzmas. I'm not too worried about circuitry, though, in all honesty. Okay, so he's actually going to go into the circuitry. Okay. We'll just set up another Dawn fan. I guess we will use Guzma then. Wish we were taking a prize here. Can I Rainbow Brush that Strong Energy away? Yes, I can. I mean, might as well try it. I can turn this into basic fighting. Ah, oh, crud. Never mind. I might as well turn to a basic dark, though. Whatever. We can still go dark, dark fighting. Okay, this Zerka tree might actually be a pain. Okay, I think we will Guzma. Actually, I'm going to check the deck. We do have Buzzwool, which could attack him. Oh, uh, I really regret playing all these special energies. And we burn two of our Guzmas. The new Regirock is busted, TBH. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I mean, actually, that wouldn't be a bad one of this deck. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put Buzzwool down now. I don't want to fill my bench up too much. I don't know if I have a choice, though. This uh, Zerka tree is actually causing us some problems. The only way to attack it is with Dawn Fan. But I have the DC on. So, it's not going to make a difference, but we can get out of the active. If you want mine, I have a full art. Huh, a full art what, uh, Zizzo? A mime? Hmm. That yeah, wouldn't be bad, I guess. I don't know how I feel about mime in this deck, though, but... If you want. I might try and make a Mr. Mime deck at some point. I mean, it is a funny card. I might try and make a video and try and make a deck work out of this guy. It's gonna be tough, though. That Zerka tree is giving me problems. Um, I doubt he'll ever Cartana me again, but I'm hoping he Cartana's that DC off. Alright, so just gonna end me. It just sucks my basic energy is so scattered out. I don't even know if I have enough energy to deal with this Cartana, in all honesty. This is actually... Mm, this might become just a stall game. Yo, bro, I'm in Canada for a visit to my family. Yo, Swag, welcome to stream, and uh, yeah, where in Canada? I live near Toronto. Um, I don't know. He's actually going to blade me this turn, okay. So he takes his prize. Um, I don't mind if he shovels his back. I actually want him to get rid of that DCE. Um, okay, so put Dawn Fan down. I guess we'll end him. We need to find those other Guzmas. Okay. Baby Buzz is like the only thing that can damage the circuitry. But if I put it down now, it'll get knocked out, and I don't have any way to get it back. I don't play any super odds, so I might as well just super cybolt him for 70, try and get some damage on him while I can. For today, just in Windsor, Ontario, but normally up by Toronto. Oh, nice, yeah. I've never been to Windsor before, but yeah, I do live near Toronto, I'll say that. I mean, I don't want to get my address away or anything, or like where like I exactly live, but yeah, I do live near Toronto. So many floats. Oh, I don't know if I play Field Blower. I honestly can't remember. This circuitry is giving me so many problems. It's not even funny. I mean, it is funny. I mean, if we take a prize, one of our two prizes could be that fighting energy that's prized. And that'd be really good. So I can attach it to Dawn Fan here. And it might take a hit from something like Stack Attacka. Um. Well, Ultra Ball, I don't really want to put Lele down, but I don't know. I'll get rid of Special Charge and Hoopa. Grab Diancy for now. Dang, dude, this Zerga Tree. I don't know if I can get around it. Best thing I can do is, like, deck him out or something, but that's not going to give me the win because he has all his attackers. I am going to knock out that Kartana now. If I get a basic fight out the prizes, we might be okay for now. We'll see. So I know I have one basic fight and energy in the prize. Okay, we got our other Guzma, I guess, but... I guess I can knock out Poipo, but that's only one prize. This is why I like having four Guzmas. This deck is good for Wolves format, Strong Energy, Reggie, and other things. The deck right now I'm playing, Zuzo, the uh, Donphan Hoopa deck. 
It's an interesting deck. I might, I mean, you could always replace mine with Regirock also, if you wanted to. Maybe the best maneuver is let him attack. I don't know if he's played enough energy to attack with Zerkatry, so I could deck him out. Like, I could just pass, and then when he brings out an attacker, I can start damaging it. I guess that'll be my strategy. But yo, welcome everybody to the stream. I just saw my uh, viewer count go up. But yeah, welcome everybody to the stream, just playing some rogue decks. As you can see right now, I'm testing a Donkin Hoopa deck. I'm in some trouble, though, because this Zerka Tree, I have no way around it. I have one basic fighting energy in the deck, but it is prized. And if I don't get it, I'm going to lose. And I'm down three Guzmas, and I only got one left. Yeah, Donkin is lit. It's pretty sick, yeah. Especially against Zoark. They hit you for 120, you flail KO them for 240. My opponent will pass. I might as well just... I mean, he has no way to stop Hoopa. I can maybe stall him out. I have played a lot of Pokemon on my bench, so... I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I mean, if he does attack me with something else, that's a good turn for me to attack him back, so... There is options. And I could potentially win by decking him out. And I don't know if he'll have enough ways to attack me with Zerkatry. If he starts doing Rumbling Wires, it's probably game over. We'll have to see, though. Uh, we'll have to see if Rumbling Wires becomes a problem or not. So, he gets rid of his other B-string, okay? He has access to play that, but he isn't choosing to. He is playing Unergy, but I'm assuming... Uh, there's no way he's going to be playing, like, four units in his deck, because it doesn't go well with... Like, that's so much energy. You'd have to have room for basic metals, B-string for base metals. You'd have to play uh, Beast Energy. I doubt it. He might only play the one unit. So, if, if as long as Zerga Tree doesn't Rumbling Wires me, I should be okay to maybe stall him out, and as long as the uh, Guzmas don't kind of wreck me. Uh, there's the first one. He's actually trying to suck attack. Though. I don't think that KOs me, though. Yeah, it doesn't KO me. Just recently subscribed to you, and this is my first time watching the stream. Perfect time for me to watch here in England. Yo, Shane, welcome to the stream, dude. And thank you for the sub, bro. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the support, bro. Thanks thanks for helping me out. Um. Okay, we'll put Choice Band here. We'll... Ah, rip. He already took a prize, so I can't really get Buzzle to do the extra damage. Okay, we do get a DC, and we finally get some Field Blowers online. This is huge. We get rid of those Float Stones. Is, that's really nice. So we could maybe attack with Donphan and push him. I think the play here, though, is Retreat into Hoopa. Keep denying him prizes, and just Super Cybolt him. Probably should have Ultra Space for Buzzle, though, Rip, but it's fine. We'll just do this. Force him to have to retreat or do another Guzma, but he'll have to burn two of his Guzmas, which he only plays three most likely, to take out one GX, that seems fine by me. There's a Dawn Wings. Ooh. If I put Choice Band on him, that's an easy knockout for me, so that's good. But we have those floats is nice, because when we force him to retreat with Rapid Spin, he might not have anything to be able to retreat with. He is a Titan of Zerkatry, though. That's getting scary. He's played three floats. He might be out. He's going to go into Dawn Wings. If he doesn't retreat, I uh, hit it for 160. So I don't really see... Well, he has another Guzma. So he will finish off my Lele, but that's fine. He had to burn two of his Guzmas, which he really needs to get around Hoopa with. So that's really good. And everything else is pretty bulky here in, these ma in this matchup. So that is pretty nice, actually. So I'm doing 70 with Hoopa. I am doing 70 with Dawn Fan, so it doesn't really Um, we'll put Choice Band here. We will let him to three. Slow him down a little bit. Okay, we got another U Energy, so we can build up the other Hoopa. Which is good. We can always use that Hoopa maybe to finish off the Dawn Wings if it ever comes down to it. So that'll be pretty good. I mean, he could Field Blower them off. I haven't even checked if he's played Field Blower, has he? He hasn't. He might not be playing Field Blower, though. We'll have to see. He'll retreat Stack Attacka, most likely into Zerka Tree once again to buy some time. Then I might retreat into Dawn Fan. I could keep making him retreat into stuff without Flow Stones on until he burns all his metals. That's actually... Oh no, there's a the energy. Okay, this is where things get bad. The best hope I have to deal with this thing, if I get that basic fighting energy off the prizes soon, I can attach a Dawn Fan, he'll rumbling wires me for 100 damage, and then I flail knock him out with the basic fighting energy. And at that point, is basically the game. Unless he's playing two Zerka Trees. Okay, he's actually going to let me knock him out. Um, which means I should be able to win. I'm actually going to play down a Ranguru. And we'll Cynthia. 
We just need to find that last Guzma. And that will indeed be game. We do have Field Blower. We don't really need it, though. We'll get Buzzwell to the deck. I don't know if I'll need it at this point. We do get the Knockout, though, which is really big. And all we have to do is finish off Donlings. Do we get our basic fighting? Well, we don't. So it doesn't look like we'll be able to do that fighting energy strat that I wanted to do. Maybe I play Glaceon because it's not bad for Worlds? I mean, Glaceon's a decent pick for Worlds, I think. Glaceon is still pretty underrated, in my opinion. And he's going to bring out Zerkatree. If he does Rumbling Wires here, I'm in trouble. But all we need to do is just get Guzma, and we win the game by knocking out Donlings. Unless he field blows the Choice Band off. And that is my last one. We'll have to see if we can pull that off, though. We could maybe trap the Donlings, too. There's a lot of possibilities. But if he Rumbling Wires my Guzma away, oh, I am in trouble. LDF, want some Forbidden Light League Sleeves? Yeah, sure, Zizzo. I, um, I'm trying to build up my sleeve collection anyway, so I have more options. But yeah, I'd appreciate it, Zizzo. I was actually going to bring out a Rangaroo and attack it with, the, uh, with uh, what's his face? Meganadel. That's fine. Um, to Cynthia or to Thickamorn? Again, I am looking for a... Um, I am looking for that Guzma to win the game here next turn. There it is. There it is. We got strong energy too, which is nice. Oh, I didn't mean to bring that out. That's fine. I don't think I'm going to get damaged anyways. Whatever. I feel it shuts down Ray and it shuts down Zoark. Yeah, turn one Glaceon slows Ray down quite a bit, and it slows down Zoark. Again, it also shuts down big stuff like Lele and Invasion is also another big one. A lot of people don't consider it. Also, it shuts down Stack Attacka. Which, I mean, it's kind of relevant, kind of not, because you get wrecked by Stack Attacka anyways. So I guess it doesn't matter, but it does shut down a lot of abilities. He's going to do another Lele. He could grab an N here to try and, like, M me to two. And then I won't be able to get that Guzma right away. I don't know why I went in the choice band hoop. That was a dumb misplay, but it's fine. We should be able to win. This thing's already heavily damaged, so I can always just finish it off if I really needed to. So we should be okay. Should be good. All right, let's see what my opponent gets here. Just a Sycamore. Okay. We should have game here if he doesn't... Okay. There's a beast energy, so that will give him the rumbling wires attack he needs. Hey, LDF. Yo, Timmy. Welcome, stream dude. How you doing tonight? Or today. Thankfully, Guzma's in our hand. If we didn't get Guzma there off that Sycamore, rumbling wires would have wrecked us hard. Because he might have discarded it, and that would have been game over. But, you know what we can do? We can KO that Dawn Wings with my boy Hoopa. Uh, we somehow managed to get around the Zerka tree here. That was pretty intense, but we were able to get around it at the last minute for a pretty nice finishing. And there's that basic fighting we needed. That last prize had to be the fighting, but we were all good. We got around him pretty easily. Did he play Field Blower? I'm really curious. No, it didn't look like he had Field Blower, so all those choice bands and floats would have stayed on, which is pretty good. Um, and, ooh, we got five Furious Fist Packs. We're going to open them up. What a game. Yeah, I know, Swag. I kind of wish I was recording that now for um, a video that I want to do on Hoopa. But we did get another good game with the Hoopa Donphane deck against a Lapras deck, so both of those two games are actually really nice. Uh, we'll open up those packs we got. May as well, and maybe pull my boy Full Art Toad. That's really the only thing I need from Furious Fist is Full Art Toad, so we'll have to see if we pull it. I mean, I don't even care if I don't pull anything good, because then that means my next Lester Storm packs will be better. So we'll have to see. Let's see, we get Bear Tick, not that great. I remember when that Bear Tick was like, people thought it was a tech card to beat uh, Landers at the time. Alright, here we go. Double Rare. Okay, we got a Politoed, that's a nice... I actually kind of like Politoed with, uh, in like Expanded. Yo, LDF, can I get your promo Dragalge? I'll give you four B-String League promos and one... F. Okay. Um, do I have a promo Dragalge? I'll, I'll check real quick, guys. Is okay. Reverse Strong Energy. Oh, that's another decent card. I do have a playset of those, but if I get another one, that'd be good. Ooh. We got another Secret Rare Lucario Mega. Not bad. Not a great card, but, I mean, it is Secret Rare. I'll take it. 
Just been trying to make Celestial Storm decks, but I can't make much right now besides Zork, Macargo, Bayonet GX, and I'm one Scizor GX away from making Scizor decks. Alright, nice, Timmy. Yeah, Scizor, it's not the most expensive GX in the set. Um, usually I would just wait for prices to go down. I'll check if I have that to Gelgi, though. Um, I'll, I'll quickly check if I have it. I actually, I've never seen the promo to Gelgi, though. I'll check. Do I have a promo to Gelgi? Dragal. Man, I spelt it wrong. Hmm. But I, I'll give it to you if I do have it. I don't know where it is. Oh, maybe I don't have it. Are you sure I got a Zizzle? I really want Bayonet. Oh, I don't, hmm, I don't know. I mean, I feel like that Ray is a little overhyped, like, yeah, Ray, I think Ray is still a good deck, but there is a lot of hype behind it that might not be, like, the hype that it needs. It might, I don't know if it's that good, to be honest. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, I don't actually have it. Rip. Rip. Rip, 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 rip. Yeah, Ah, yeah, dang it, so I don't have it. Rip. Yeah, I, I have it tagged for trade. I just never actually... I must have traded a long time ago. I don't know why it's still tagged or it says I still have it. Dang it, bro. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, so I don't have the Dragalgy. Is there anything else you want? Yeah, that's a rip. Um, Yeah, sorry, bro, I don't have it. Um, But let's create a Swamper deck here, guys, for another Rogue deck. I said I'd be making Rogue decks, so uh, we'll make a Swamper deck. So, so far, that's kind of what I got. I'm kind of basing my list off of, like, what Omnipoke's list was like in that video he did, because I think Swamper, there's not really that many good ways to play Swamper. But, yeah, sorry, so I don't have the geology. Yeah, I know. I, I know, like, it's kind of glitched like that, where when you get rid of something, you still, it still says you have it on your account. It happens a lot. Like, the Mewtwo Vivid Sleeves are still on my account, because I still have them. Um, it's an annoying glitch, I guess. Yeah, I'm sorry, Zizzo. If there's anything else that you see or want, I mean, you can also ask if I have any, like, a certain card. Like, I'm down to, uh, I'm down to trade. Alright, so. I do want to make this, uh, Swampert list a little unique, though. I don't want to, like, copy and paste it completely from Omnipoke. I do want to make it somewhat unique. Um, but if you guys have any positions to what could be added to the Swampert deck, uh, let me know. Alright, bro, got a jet. Preparing for a party tonight. Love the streams and keep up the good work. Alright, see ya, swag. See ya, bro. Have a good night, and, uh, yeah, have fun. Alright, um, so yeah, if you guys have any, like, ideas for what could be added to the Swamper deck, let me know. I'm glad, I'm, I'm open for yours. All good, buddy. I'm gonna check for something else. Alright, so, and yeah, if, if you don't see anything, and, like, if it's not tagged for trade, um, you can just ask, and, uh, I'll check if I have it. Okay, so, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions what I could add to this deck, let me know. I do also try, want to try, like, a beat-up deck at some point, too. That seems fun. Okay, um, what could be added? Like, I think maybe, like, a way to counter Buzzwool, I think. Mewtwo or Latios, I don't mind. Um, we can go, like, three DCEs? This seems like a decent energy count, I think. Splash energy wouldn't be terrible either. Add Electro GX. Ooh, I actually like that one. Yeah, I can add, I can, I think I can mix it up a bit and try out Electrode in here. I don't mind that. I'll run a 1-1 one, one line, though. I'll run a 1-1 one, one line. I might throw in an 8th water. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll play 12 energies. That seems good. Yeah, I actually like that idea. Uh, playing any Lana? Yeah, I don't think... I don't know, uh, Shane, if Lana's good in here, to be honest. Because Swampert, it is pretty weak. 160 HP, it's uh, it's enough HP to take hits from Zoarks, but... I don't know. You can maybe add the new Macargo from Celestial, from Celestial Storm. Ooh, David, that's a good idea, actually. I don't want to, like, cram this with Pokemon, but... I can run a 1-1 line of, uh, Macargo. That's a lot, though. But, I think it's okay. I think the Pokemon count's actually perfectly fine how it is right now. I could maybe cut down on Swampert, but other than that, it seems like a decent list. I think that's good for Pokemon. And other than that, we just gotta keep adding everything else. We'll go three ends for consistency. We'll go Sycamore. I'll play two Sycamores. We'll play the three ends because your, my opponent might get early prizes on. So this way we can kind of disrupt him from getting those. Because I know once you get a few Swamperts online, you already have the draw support. So I don't want to go crazy on the draws here. We'll play uh, three or four candies. I think we'll go three. Because we have four puzzles. Is Scizor GX for trade? Yeah, it is Scizor. I do have a full art for trade. Um, but I, I I don't think Scizor is worth those four B-strings, though. I'm sorry. You could add the... um. 
you could add like any other like things you could add if you have anything that would make it worth it. I already have three secret beast strings as well, so if you were to trade the four beast strings and the um, the the forbidden life sleeves, I don't think it'd be worth it. So, but yeah, I do have a Suzo for trade. I'll uh, quickly check it in a sec, bro. Uh, oh, choice band. Almost forgot. We'll need three choice bands. We'll play maybe one float. I'm fine with having one float zone in the deck. Okay. Um. I kind of I just want to play copycat because I got a fuller and I just want to kind of just add it for bling. I don't mind that. Um, I don't think we'll need it. We do need Ultra Ball. Almost forgot about that. Um, okay, what else could be good in here? So we got one spot left. Probably would have to go to Field Blower. Alright, this seems like a fine enough deck list for Swampert. I might take out a DCE. I think I will. I think we'll remove a DC just so we can have more flexibility for room. Um, what else could go in here? Do you guys have any other ideas? Probably right to be fair. Was thinking pairing Lana with sh for Shiny Legends, Manaphy for consistent healing, considering Swampert's low HP. Yeah, it's a decent idea. Um, maybe like in a different water deck that heals. I think that would be a nice combo to have. Um, Timer Ball, I guess. I hate playing Timer Ball, but. I guess that's a nice one of. Alright, let's try it. We'll, we'll try out the Swampert deck. We'll call it... We'll call it Swampy Boys. And I'll, I'll actually add... If the uh, if Sizzo trades me those sleeves, I'll add them. I have a feeling the Swampert Macargo is the Garchomp Lucario for Celestial Storm. Yeah, basically. I think it is, too. It's kind of like the same kind of idea. Yeah, I, 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 I think that's a decent comparison. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, sure, if you want, Sizzo. I'll take the... Yeah, you can have it. I found the Exeggutor. Exeggutor is a fun deck and expanded. It's not like amazing, but I don't know. It's it's got some spunk to it. But yeah, thanks Zizzo. Appreciate it. Um, okay, so we will uh, we'll change the deck box to uh, just keep playing that Ray the Elite Trainer Ray box. I have the Forbidden Light sleeves. Those are beautiful sleeves. So we'll play Swampy Boys, and we'll see how it does for us. There's a lot of Pokemon in here. But I think I think both Swampert and um, Swampert and Garchomp Lucario both have more potential post rotation than they do right now. I think Garchomp Lucario does good in post rotation because I think if it if the format slows down, which it probably will, Garchomp gets more time to set up. I think it's a stronger archetype post rotation, even though we are losing DCE. Uh, no problem, buddy. Yeah, thanks, Susan. All right, so we'll have to see how we do in this deck. We got a lot of we got a lot of Pokemon in here, so we got it's a toolbox deck. Kind of all rides if we get turn on Bridget or not, too. So we'll see if we get heads. Ooh, we don't rip. Now, do we start with my boy Volpix? We get Mudkip as a start. That's fine. We do get Lele for Bridget. So that's perfectly fine. I don't know what we're playing against. I can't remember if I was looking at the type. But yeah, I traded two... I don't know if this is worth it, but I traded two Celestial Storm Packs for a full playset of four Versal Mudkips, four Versal Marsh Chomps, and four Reverse Hollow Swampers, because I like me those Reverse Hollows. I still realize, I never got to add you on PCGO yet. Oh yeah, Timmy, um, if you want, you could. I My friends list is full right now, so after this match, I'd have to unfriend someone, and then, yeah, you could add me. I'm down. So, Malamar. Okay, Malamar is actually a bit of a trickier matchup if they're playing Alternate Cosma. Ooh, Macargo's a great draw, because we're able to bridge it for probably Slugma, and uh, Mudkip and Vulpix seems like a good draw. And we'll probably retreat, go into a low lane of Vulpix. So yeah, Slugma, Mudkip, and Vulpix. And we will retreat. Bit of a waste of that DC in all honesty, that's fine. Because we have Macargo, we're looking okay. Um, we will grab Marshtomp, and I guess Ninetales? Seems good. Seems like the decent draw there. But uh, this might be a hard matchup if he's playing um, Ultra Necrozma and uh, Vanilla Necrozma, because those things do one-shot Swampert very easily. And when Swampert gets one shot, the deck kind of falls apart. I think Swampert and Expanded, though, with... Uh, Archie's is going to be really strong. I think it's going to be a great partner for Archie's. So I'll probably be trying that out at some point too. So he's got Sycamore. Ooh, three Psychics. 
He could KO. Oh no, he could KO. He is going to KO my Vulpix this turn. It's kind of pointless to grab Ninetales, but I can probably discard it. I'm not going to need it if he, if he discards my Vulpix, but Ninetales can attack him here. We could use Ninetales to uh, do 190, so maybe it's important, maybe it's not, I don't know. We just need to get Swampert's down. I might have to end him. Nah, I guess it's fine. I don't care if we lose the Swampert. Oh, Parallel City. Alright, we'll get rid of Lele. We don't really have a good counter stadium in this deck. We do have Field Blower in our hand, though, so that's good. We'll be able to get rid of that. Two more energies, yikes. Does he get any more Pokemon down, though, is also going to be a question. Yes, he does. It's going to be five Psychics in the discard, or at least four. That's still a lot of energy in the discard. Maybe that's good, though, if he needs energy in his hand to attach. I think he did a support of this turn, so we can't grab Bridget. So, yes, yeah, grab another Ink Cave. That's fine. Which is fine. Okay, so I'm going to put another Dawn Wings. I'd rather Dawn Wings be in play than Necrozma or Ultra Necrozma. Because they are the bigger threats. And yeah, it looks like he'll just Dark Flash me. So, rip my boy. Okay, so. What do I bring out here? Uh, we would have brought out Lele, but we don't have it. I think we'll have to just bring out Mudkip for now. Rare Candy. Ooh, that works too. Okay, so we will lose a Swampert and a Ninetales, but that's fine. Field Blower is going to come in clutch to get rid of those two cards. Can't wait for Parallel to leave, though. That card's going to make it so good. How's the deck doing so far? Welcome to stream, Chris. How you doing? And uh, that's my first match with the deck, but so far it's not bad. Um, we didn't get an energy to retrieve. Dang it. So we're going to lose Mudkip. I feel like at this point we can discard Electrode, but I might need it. I can, always, I can always just go straight Rare Candy Swampert if I wanted to. How much retreat, though? It has three. Yikes. Sup, Fury? Yo, Gonzalo! Welcome to stream, dude. How you doing? I'm just playing some Rogue decks right now. We're playing Swampert, um, and we're in a bit of a predicament right now. I don't know if my float is prize, but I could... I guess we'll do this. And then we'll smooth over, maybe try and get the float stone. If it's in the deck. Yep, okay, good. Nice. Um, but yeah, we're trying to have the Swamper deck with like Nine Tails, Macargo, and Electro GX, and we'll see how it does. We'll power draw, get rid of the Ultra Ball. We get three cards here, so that's awesome. Mm, no other puzzles. That's a bit of a rip. So yeah, it looks like Nine Tails won't be needed in this matchup unless we can get Puzzle. I'm tempted to Ultra Ball here, which I think I'll do. We'll get rid of Cynthia in a. And this, and we'll grab Voltorb while we can. It'd be nice, though, to get Super Boost Energy activated. But we'll grab Voltorb, and then we'll put Electro down next turn. We won't be able to use it right away, but that's fine. And we'll just grab Mudkip and Swampert. So I heard you like Mudkips. Yes, I do. Mudkip, the meme. I think Mudkip's the biggest, like, meme Pokemon there is. Of all the Pokemon that have become memes, I think Mudkip is the biggest one. So, ooh, Promo Giratina, interesting. Not really a big threat, though. Again, as long as it's not Ultra Necrozma or Vanilla Necrozma, we're okay. No, the end. Dang it. That was a pretty good hand, so that's sad. Let's we'll see if we get a better hand, though. We still have Swampert in place. We still have a lot of draw support. We do get Rare Candy, and we can Aqua Patch Power Draw, so that's good. We'll probably bring out... Uh, I might just bring out the other Marsh Tomp. I don't know. The problem is I can't really build up Swampert right away. I might have to sacrifice my boy Electrode. There's a Mewtwo. Mewtwo's scary. That's going to be a problem. He can knock me out with Psy Strike, which is not good. And just like a Dark Flash. All right. Hmm. So what do I do here? Did I not? I think I didn't. Did I not put Guzman in this deck? I think I forgot to put Guzman in this deck. Are you going to stream versus videos the next few days, or both? Uh, I'll try and mix it up. I'll probably be doing more streams later this week, but yeah, uh, there's going to be a video every day of all like all new decks. Archie's Blastoise Swampert, yeah, Jacob, it's going to. I think that's going to be a really strong deck. Do I bring out Swampert, or do I... I could bring out Voltorb, and then try and go for Electro this turn. I guess that, I guess that works. Can we do another puzzle piece? We will power draw an energy away for that Aqua Patch. 
Oh, I should have done... Oh, never mind, we're good. I was like, I should have done my cargo first, but this seems fine. Uh, we'll attach to Swamper. We will probably drop Lele this turn. What do I smooth over for, though? We got two energies in this card. I guess we'll grab Electrode. Do we have any... What supporters could I grab? Ooh, I guess I can end him. I could Electrode and then end him. That'll be the play. We'll end him to two and Electrode go kaboom. Let's see how this works out for us. We'll get rid of... Bridget, and that can go. Another Mudkip, that's awesome. Kind of wish we were getting rid of more energies, though. It's only a DCE. That's not really worth it. Huh. Eh, this is a little weird. In general, early thoughts on Celestial Storm as a whole. The pack pull rates look pretty underwhelming in your pack opening video. And uh, what's been your favorite expansion of the Sun and Moon series? Uh, yeah, the Celestial Storm pull rates are kind of weird. I don't know, I think, I think, I don't know, the pull rates have been okay. No puzzle, I was hoping, the fact that we haven't found a double puzzle yet is also a little alarming. Okay, so, oh, you know, I could have smoothed over for the puzzle, got Ultra Ball, got rid of more stuff that way, whatever. Um, we're gonna get knocked out, right? Yep, so Mewtwo Psy strikes me. I think I just didn't play this right. Um, we'll drop Lele. We'll do Cynthia for now. Probably my favorite expansion though, Shane, to answer your question. It's either a tie between Guardians Rising or Burning Shadows. What about you? Hello, yo, Kaziku. Welcome to the stream, dude. How you doing, bro? Pull rate seem fine to me. I pull three hollows. The pull rate, I don't know, yeah, I'm finding the pull rates to be weird for me. The pack opening video wasn't terrible. There's double puzzle. Nice. Okay. Now we got a combo going. Now we got a combo going. So this is a lot better. So we double puzzle for Ultra Ball, for sure. And I, yeah, we have the end in our hand for next turn. We have him to one next turn. That seems good. What do I grab? Yes, Swampert? Maybe Candy. No, yeah, we'll grab Candy, because then we'll Ultra Ball for Swampert. Okay, seems good. Okay, maybe the comeback is real? I don't know. We won't be able to play him down this turn, but for next turn we will. And boom! So we give up two prizes, however, we're going to set up a good board here. We're going to need to put four energies on Swampert, though, it looks like. Right, 60, 80, 20, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180. Yeah, we're going to have to put four energies on. That's fine. So, maybe my math is wrong. Hopefully it's not. If it is, rip. Celestial Storm Rate is terrible to me. I hardly get any good GXs out of it. Yeah. Nice, Jacob. I got 50 packs ready to open on PC Joe, so we'll see how my pack luck goes. Yeah, hopefully it goes well. Okay, I better be doing the math right. 60 and 80. Oh, shoot. Whoa, we're only doing 160, aren't we? We're not knocking them out. Rip, 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 rip. There's nothing I can bring out. Um, I don't really want to lose Swampert. I guess Macargo's the only other choice. Wow, I'm just not playing this well. Fury, do you have do you complete IRL or just PC Joe? Well, the answer is good, Jacob. Yeah, I only um I only play on PC Joe for now. I used to play in real life. He might just have game here if he has Guzma. Rip. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. I don't know. I think we could have played this a little bit better in all honesty. But yeah, I only play in real life for now. Oh no, what am I saying? I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, I don't play in real life anymore. I used to. Uh it just got too expensive. I opened pretty well from this set, got a Rayquaza in 6 packs, traded for 20 Celestial Storm packs, opened a few Full Arts and a few other GXs and another Ray GX, traded that for another 20 packs. Yeah, nice, Zizzo. Uh, I go like your video and I subscribe to your channel, okay? Alright, well, Zuko, thank you for the support. Yeah, dang it, dude, that's, 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 just, that's embarrassing. I probably won't use that game if I do make a Swamper video. That, it can get deleted. 
All right, I think we'll do like maybe one more game with like a different deck. I might just play Swampert again. Uh, but I think that deck has a little more testing to do. But I think we'll play that Tyranitar deck again. Just to end off probably the stream, guys. It's actually I'm gonna have to eat dinner soon. I just realized it's gonna be five soon. I gotta I gotta eat dinner soon. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll play that Tyranitar deck if I can find it. There it is, Electro Tyranitar. And yeah, we'll, we'll we'll play this deck one last time for you guys, and and then we'll probably end off the stream there. So I gotta eat dinner soon. And yeah, we'll, we'll see how we do it tonight, Charlie. Burning Shadow is definitely my favorite. So many great mods in that expansion through Shiny Legends in real life. It's so fun for the guaranteed hollow in each pack. Shame it's such a small expansion. Yeah, that's true. Dinner, it's not the afternoon. No, Gonzalo, for me in Canada, it's actually 4.24 p.m. right now. It's going to be 5 o'clock soon. So I'm probably going to have to eat dinner very, very soon. But we'll see. If this game is, like, super short, I'll do another match for sure. But yeah, Burning Shadows is an insane set. There is so many, so many good cards in that set. There's Mar Shadow, which is playable, Necrozma, which is playable, Galissapod, there's Gardevoir, ho -Oh, and there's all the full arts, Guzma, Ace Rolla. Ooh, look at this. It's going to be another Swamper deck. This is actually going to be a good game, because for once, it's actually going to be more of like a slower-paced match. So we might have time to set up, which is beautiful. Let me just get this fan near me. Sorry, guys, if I, if I needed to get that fan on me. My room is hot right now. You might be able to hear the fan. There's no music in the stream. Um, but yeah. Okay, we get Mr. Mime. We get... Ooh, this is a really good hand. Nice. Okay. So we drew DCE. That's pretty good. We'll put down the Mime. We will... Professor's Letter for two Dark Energies. All is looking good. And we'll probably just dump the Dark. We'll attach DC to Larvitar. We'll discard these two Darks. Probably gonna get another Voltorb in all honesty. I'm... Mm, I don't think it'll knock me out this turn, but I might as well just try and get double Electrode in play while I can. We'll see what this Sycamore gives us. Nice, we got Pupitar, we got Hoopa. We have Tyranitar for next turn, too. Yeah, we'll hold the hand then if we have Tyranitar. Then maybe next turn we can attack with Tyranitar? If we can get uh, Electrode, Tyranitar can attack next turn, and that's when fun starts to begin. Uh, Alright, let's see what my opponent gets here. Does he get turn 2 Swampert or not? I'm hoping he doesn't end me, though. This is a really good hand. He's going to attach to Mudkip. That's fine. Floatstone. Tyrantar is pretty bulky, so he's going to need a lot of energy. No, he's ending me. Ah, rip. And hopefully I don't get a bad hand. That was really good. I would have had the turn 2 Tyranitar off. Okay, never mind. That makes up for it. That hand is almost better. I think I'd rather try and Guzma up Mudkip, though, too. I would like to knock out his Mudkip. So he's going to do Beacon, and we'll see if he's grabbing the Swampert if he has the Rare Candy in hand. He does. That is very annoying. Okay, let's see what we draw. Ooh, Bridget. Okay, that works. Okay, so what we'll do, we will Rare Candy into Tyranitar. We will definitely Ultra Ball, I think. We'll get Electro GX. The boy. I like how I like how angry this this art is amazing. It's I, it makes me laugh every time how angry he looks. <laughs> it reminds me of the the devil emoji, the devil face emoji thing. We'll grab Larvitar and probably just Yvalto. Do we have Yvalto break? Yeah. I want to try and use Yvalto break. And we'll go kaboom. So we'll go double here. And probably triple onto Yveltal. And because Mime's on the bench, we don't have to worry about taking damage. We'll go two here. And I might as well spread the love and put one on Larvitar. Just in case we can build another Tyranitar. We do give up two prizes, but we set up the entire boy. And this is where the fun begins, guys. Tyranitar. And because Mime's in play, we're not going to take damage. Hopefully we take out a couple Mudkips here. Let's see. Let's take out that Mudkip with the two waters. Come on, I want to see heads. <laughs> yes. We knocked it out. Oh, that is that is amazing. Oh, that is lovely. And let's see what our prize is. We got DCE. Nice. Oh, that was beautiful. Trample, man. This is such an insane attack. It's actually kind of cool to see all the coins. And there we go. We got another Dark Energy. Nice. This deck is awesome. <laughs> when it gets set up. I don't, you don't usually have good turns like that where you get like the immediate turn 2 Tyranitar Electro combo. Plus, Macargo could get finished off by Trample, too. 
Now I wish I was recording, because this is such a good game. Wow, yeah, I know, Jacob. This deck is insane when it gets to set up like that. It's just the slow setup, but when you do Electrode, you give up two prizes. But, yeah, this is an insane deck here. I like this deck so much. I got it off a of Japan website. Um, we'll see what he does. We know he has the Swampert, but I highly doubt Tarantula is going down this turn, and this is amazing. This setup is awesome. <laughs> this setup is awesome. All right, so he's going to get Acrobike and Floatstone. He's going to do another Acrobike. Okay, he gets rid of a Lele. That's fine. Hopefully we can take out Macargo and get good damage on Swampert here. You could run Victini in this deck also, guys, if you want, because you could use Victini to reflip Trample if you don't like how it does. This deck is very interesting. I would try it if I had any Electrode. Um, I mean, Timmy, I mean, Electrode isn't that expensive, man. I mean, good luck getting it, but Electrode, I think you can probably get it for like a few packs. It's really not that expensive, but this is a very fun deck. Uh, there's so many fun combos with Electrode in Expanded also. I do want to try that Electrode Hippotus deck. Ooh, he gets a double Swamper. That's pretty scary. He could have done, like, a super boost energy play this turn if he does have it, but thankfully we did take out one of his Mudkips there, and the one we wanted too, which is really big. Ooh, he puts another 60 HP Pokemon on his bench. Tyranitar likes to see that. And he's going to pass. Nice. We get a free turn of Trample. We do find a Floatstone. We're going to attach that to your belt hall. We'll put the DC on Larvitar. And we'll just do Trample for now. Nice, we hit his whole bench. So we get two more prizes. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Double T-Tar. I didn't even know I had two prizes. Wow. This is ridiculous. This is definitely the game to finish off a stream. He does, looks like he does get the counter energy, so okay, so we're probably going to get knocked out this turn by Swampert. I think I need to tweak that Swampert deck out a bit. Yo, Kusana, welcome to the stream, dude, how you doing? Unfortunately, though, bro, you're coming in as I'm probably going to be ending off the stream soon, but yeah, this deck, this Tyranitar deck is nuts. If we can get Rare Candy next turn and get double T-Tar, the game's over, basically. He's going to float Field Blur, that's fine. We'll probably see Tyranitar get KO'd this turn. Looks like he's going to Lele for... And we've only played one Sycamore. We're good. I just hit 260 damage with Donphan. Nice. Best game ever. Yeah, this game is insane. This is a really good game with this T-Tar deck. See, when T-Tar gets going, guys, it's evil. But T-Tar does kind of prey on these 60 HP decks. Guzma. Okay, Guzma's really good. Guzma means we might win the game here. We can bring out... We can, I mean, he's going to probably attack with the Swampert anyways. But we could win the game just off of this... Like, just off Guzma. Did you hit, um, 260 with the new Dawn fan? If you did, that's nuts. I mean, I guess you need Strong Energy, much Red Drops. So he's gonna just Hydro Pump me, and it doesn't knock me out. So all we really need to do is just hit heads, and we win. Hit heads on that one Swampert. No, he can see he's ripped, but that was an insane match. That was an insane game. Don't know why I'm holding the Fidget Spinner right now, but that was an insane match. And I think we're gonna end off the stream there with that T-Tar match. That was an awesome game, guys. I'll get this before you go. Thank you for the warm welcome to your channel. I'll hopefully be able to watch, catch a few more of your streams in the future. Time difference, my parents permitting. LOL. It's all good, Shane. Uh, but hopefully you do, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. That was insane. We got a really good game with this Tyranitar deck. I'm loving this deck a lot. Um, I'm going to be doing a video on it very soon. Shadow Sword Fit. Yo, that's my boy Evan. <laughs> I'm going to commit suicide next. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm going to end up the stream here, guys. I got to go eat dinner soon. Uh, but we had some fun. We tested out some fun rogues. We tested out Tyranitar Electrode. Swampert, Macargo, Electrode, and we tested out the Donphan Hoopa decks. We had a lot of fun this stream. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Thanks for tuning in. I know it's, you know, an hour and a half. I think that's good. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in another live stream, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a Naganadel stack attack deck. Catch you guys later. Thanks for tuning into the stream tonight, guys. Uh, well, today. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Have a good night. And uh, yeah, take it easy.